an early spring storm hits the county and get ready for more rain tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. You're also going to want to bundle up if you head outside and slow down if you're going to be on the roads. That rain led to crashes on our roads earlier today and before that storm reached us, it hit LA where people shored up their property from flooding and there were rescues too. In Studio City, firefighters rescued a dog from the LA River. You see it there here at home. Our Steve Fiorina is monitoring conditions along the coast and throughout the county. But first, let's go to Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis for a look at what's happening right now. Carlene. Right now, we are seeing the moisture start to move in. So we did have some showers earlier today. It's been really sporadic on again, off again. But we are talking about a whole lot more rain that's on the way. The bulk of that moisture being between about 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you have this area of low pressure and it's actually slowed down just a bit and that's why LA has been seeing a lot when it comes to flood concerns because of that area of low pressure. Now we are seeing some dry conditions. You're going to see that in Steve's live shot as well right along La Jolla shores. But what we are seeing is also some shower activity across East County. So we're taking a little bit of a break, but there's yet another round and heavier rainfall that's right offshore. So as far as our rainfall total so far over the past 12 hours as of 2 p.m. today, we haven't seen more than a quarter of an inch of rainfall, but we do have more on the way, potentially seeing an upwards of an inch west of the mountains. So you're looking at widespread activity around 9 10 for tonight, and then those heavier cells start to move in as we go into about 11 40. And as I mentioned, that time frame looks to be all the way until about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning for the bulk of that moisture. But as I mentioned, getting a little bit of a break, enjoying some sunshine out there, but we do have the wet weather that's on the way. So Steve Farina is live right now. La Jolla Shores with more details on that. Steve. Carlene, it is uh, the lull between the uh, storms. And so what do you do if you live near the beach? You go out to the beach. As you can see, there are a lot of people out here, many people with their dogs uh, walking and taking advantage of this uh, little bit of a break in the uh, storms that are coming down from the uh, northern Cal and central Cal. Uh, we had some incidents, of course, a little before 2 o'clock during the rain on I-15. There was a semi that jackknifed and a car hit it. Nobody was hurt, but it did stall traffic for quite some time as they had to clean up that mess, which included some oil spill on the uh, I-15. That was near uh, Auto Park uh, Way up there in the Escondido area. There was also heavy rain throughout the county. Point Loma had heavy rain, Encinitas. We had shots of uh, high winds and blowing flags and those types of things as the uh, storm made various downpours across the county. Uh, this included very, very troublesome driving as you tried to de de get through that with the windshield wipers going at full blast. We also talked to somebody who was trying to fish today at the Oceanside Pier and it wasn't all that bad for him, but not great. It's a hit or miss, so sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's slow. So. And, and do you like the rain? Yeah, of course. I mean, we need it. We're in a drought, so the more the merrier. And of course, when you have the rain and the wind like that, you also have things coming and flying through. Here's some of the debris. This is sitting in maybe an inch and a half or two inches of water here in the parking lot of the Hoya Shores. Earlier today, this entire area was underwater. It was probably four or five inches deep. It did drain quickly, but still, that is one of the issues that we'll be dealing with for the next couple of days as the storm continues. Live at uh, La Jolla Shores, Steve Fiorina, CBS 8 News.